Hey, what's up guys? It's MLG. And I want to make a video about the death of RPG. Not the death, but the depth. Like, like the deepness, how deep it can go and it can be. And the reason why I want to make this video is because I was, you know, my... <laughs> My last video about the dumb down, uh, dumbing down of RPG has been so popular. I mean, I think I've never reached that much views in like 48 hours. It is insane. And this is probably due to uh, Vark's channel who's massively popular compared to mine. So yeah, it managed to trigger some good conversation in the comment section and recently uh, Matt 20 old pal the old pal said something really interesting about you know the he asked the question do you feel like rules the more rules you have in a, in a system or in an RPG contribute to the depth of it and um, I gotta admit, it's a good question, and because I was, uh, I was not, you know, I was not considering it that way. Where, well, actually, so I, I, I said in my in my video that I like complicated system nowadays. I like when they, there's rules for everything because it adds some depth to the game. He was like, yeah, for him, what add, what contributes to depth is the people, the people that play the game. Depends on the people. So, you know, like, like probably he's going to go about saying something. I don't know because he's a commenter much uh, more, so it, it's not always a... Uh, uh, super clear but I think what he's trying to say is that if the people have good imagination if the people have good rhetoric and they and they communicate well with one another as a group the game's gonna get some depth you know the game's gonna they're gonna have some depth to it it doesn't have has nothing to do with the rules and I actually said something like if it's rules light well it helps because it it allowed the people playing the game to actually because it allowed the people playing the game to actually um, organize and, and add the depth that they need according to the interpretation they make of what's happening according to the rules so he was not really convinced about the fact that rules can you know a game that has a lot of rules like Eclipse Phase for example or Burning Wheel or maybe, maybe GURPS or Mifa rug for for that in that sense uh, is gonna or Shadowrun you know like it is gonna has nothing to do with that so I want to talk about that to me if a game provides if a game provides a rich system with a lot of rules to deal with all kinds of situations it is deep in the sense that it's not the same rule for everything so that that's basically what I meant um, I've played games really rule light game Fate is a good example, but there's there's many others um, where you have like one mechanic that deals for everything all the time, 
and after a while what happens is that it becomes um, um, it's, it simply becomes redundant first and also it's like it's the same mechanic so it has this it's the same feel to write so, so it's the same mechanic to, to write a paper a letter for someone with a certain kind of message to it is the same mechanic for getting some knowledge out of your character that it is to jump off a building to grab a rope or to drive a, a spaceship into space and so the problem that happens from that is that since it's the same mechanics the same design it's the same feel so whenever you play whenever you do it's the same feel to it so you don't get that that special crunch that's gonna create that 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 special feeling what i really like in burning wheel for example i always come back to this one but uh it's the one I've been playing the most recently, so it's the one on my mind. Is that every time there is a special thing happening, there is a special rule. If you have, if there's a chase, there's a chase rule. If there's a verbal argument, there is a rule for that. There is a system for that. It's a fight. There's two or three ways. Yeah, just three different ways to fight, according to the level of uh, importance that fight is in the game. You know, so like that, that that this is what I meant by depth you know but when you play a game that is the same thing you know you roll either you roll a d20 and it does everything or either you uh, you roll those 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 special dices and it does the same thing for whatever you do it, it, it misses that um, it misses that, that that special moment it creates around the table right so therefore, do I feel like rules contrib uh, are, are what, what adds depth to an RPG? I, I think so. I think so. I think that if your design is intricate and is adapted to all kinds of situations, you end up playing a, a deep game, a system that is going to take a while to go around and it, that's going to be able to not necessarily simulate but emulate whatever you uh, you want or you need and so uh, and so yes I do think so now the thing though is that at 20 what you mentioned is uh, you talk about is the people that make it deep and it's true it's absolutely true so I think I think it's not incompatible I think it's actually both and you know if you take a game that is uh that has a lot of rules a lot of systems and subsystems and has a lot of depth to it but you don't play with the right people it's gonna become a really mechanical thing you know and it might it might gonna be a little bit uh either annoying or just uh, technical so you know it's not just one thing it's always everything it's, it's all about the way you express it the way you you uh, you want you want to discuss it, and to me in, in and to me in in RPGs, um, I mean, what I what I'm looking for now in my process of you know learning and participating in this hobby is uh, is that I'm looking for having a feel that you know I'm looking for the feel of the game there is many games out there and what are the designers intention what are they trying to do you know and depending on what they're trying to do I to me it's it's trying to find out it's 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 playing a game raw you know rule as written 
and actually use these rules to get the feel of what they were trying to do. And, and to me, what a bad game is going to be, or a game that is not going to have depth, is a game where the, the rules you're using doesn't create any feel accordingly to what you're trying to emulate. And so therefore, whatever that happens, you end up with a, a poor experience. Not something that is really rich or not something that is really satisfying. And this is the problem with those generic universal systems that claim that can do everything and all that, you know. Um, I, I, I love these games. I'm not I'm not I'm not spitting on them. I I'm actually I'm act, I, I've wanted to to uh, get the cipher system. I I'm waiting on the ubiquity universal system. I, I I'm actually you know I want to see these games. I want to look at them. But I'm not. Uh, I'm sure that they will fall short somehow. So yeah, man, it is what it is. To me, to me. An RPG that is deep, it's an RPG that has a lot of gameplay to it, that has a lot of systems and subsystems and rules that allow for precise resolution. And it's gonna create that, that, that special feel whenever you uh, go through these resolutions. And, and what the difference, not to any, with the difference with the, uh, with the people when you mention about the people, the difference is that to play an RPG, you need people, so there are gonna be people whenever you play. But the game you choose is not mandatory like the people uh, you play with. And this is a huge difference. There's always gonna be people. And people who play RPG will always deliver something. But the game that you choose might not. And the difference, I think, is important here in the sense that you don't play alone. You play with people, so there's always going to be people. But the game that you choose is not always going to be good and deep. So I think that the, the deepness of uh, a system is going to allow for that. Probably is probably more important than the, than the people. Even though you can have a really bad group, and I know what it is, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the game. Uh, I'm not saying that it's more important, uh, but I would say it's more, it's mandatory, because people are always going to be there. Uh, and, and, you can all, and, and, and you can always uh, teach them how to be better, and they, call, they, they will always improve. But the game as written, set in stone, and if it's bad, it's bad. If it's not deep, it's not deep. So yes, that's my that's what I were I wanted to say about that. I think that rules do uh, play a big part in the depth of a game, and uh, and in to me it's all about the feel of that resolution that comes uh, with these rules. All right, uh, I want to know what game uh, can you make a comparison between the. Two games, one that is deep for you, and one that has depth, and one that has not, and why, and how, um, and 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 what makes a what makes a a deep game for you? Um, if it's not ruled, what it is? All right, thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.